Okay, here are the fruits of several months of Verilog learning and uh, lots of banging my head against the wall. Um, I got a Terrasic FPGA board. It's a DE0. Um, I burned some homebrew code I made to the flash ROM on here. Uh, it's just under 2 megs, so it should be small enough to fit. And uh, I made a couple boards here. This board right here uh, just breaks out the I.O. so I can get to it easier. And then I have it wired over. It's kind of a mess, but it works. It wired over to the, uh, the original ROM footprint on a cartridge circuit board. This is actually an N64 with the cover taken off just so I could door around it easier. Um, let's see. Another thing I got over here is a circuit board with a compact flash socket and it just plugs in right here. So that's my next project to get, uh, is to get that working. But uh, before that I want to show you it actually working. So uh, I'll show you uh, what I've done so far. Switch it on here. And there's my game. You can see the uh, address change. The uh, sound effects are actually being streamed in from the cartridge in real time as they're played. So uh, you can see the high or low word of the address switch to with the ROM scene. So you can drive around a little bit. my game I'm working on. Anyway. Still playing the sound, so it's still streaming it in from ROM. Uh, next project, like I said, is to get it booting off the complex flash card instead of this uh, onboard flash ROM. This is only 4 megabytes, so I can't really do anything with it. So, uh, that's that. A lot of work.